Hello, welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection in Tallahassee, Florida. This is Greg. Today we're going to make some black cherry chocolate card candies for Black Friday. If you watch this video to the end, there'll be a coupon code for Black Friday that'll let you get a free bag of this candy if you place an order of $10 or more with Lofty Pursuits. But first, we pour the hot sugar that's at 310 degrees, and the sugar is flavored with cherry oil. Not chocolate yet, and we'll also get to that later. The candy is going to be two colors. It's going to be black and it's going to be brown. And we're adding the food coloring that's black first, and it's of course for black cherry. Although the cherry flavor is in all the colors. We're stirring this food coloring into our hot sugar and letting it boil to get steam to be produced, which will drive the water out. It looks like we're pouring it into a water solution, but we're really pouring it into a hot sugar solution with almost no water in it. And boiling the water out keeps the uh, water out of the sugar, which will eventually make the candy sticky if we leave it there. We take advantage of how hot the candy is to make this happen. We added a little brown on the far side of the table, and now the candy is cooled off enough so that we can cut it into its component colors. And we'll have two colors we'll separate it into, brown and black, although they both do look black here. The inside of this candy is hotter than the outside, or rather the parts that were touching the metal have gotten cooler than the parts that were against the air. So we're just pulling it up and we're dripping the hot candy down onto the cool table and putting the cool bits on top. It does look cool, doesn't it? Nate is working with the hot blob that's being colored brown and he's spreading the coloring around. It's a little too hot to handle right now and he's using a spatula to manipulate it. Color and flavor have very little to do with each other and so far the only flavor in this sugar is, well, it's cherry. And but we need the chocolate too. The problems with chocolates and hard candies that I've always found is they sort of lack a mouthfeel. It can taste like chocolate, but it doesn't feel like chocolate, so something dissolves wrong and your brain does a little disconnect. Sort of like in the candy feast with our ham candy or our dressing candy. Candy makers have used several techniques to solve this, most of which is making a filled candy with a molten chocolate on the inside or a soft chocolate on the inside. Instead, we're going to work cocoa powder into the candy. This will create the mouthfeel and the flavor. To get cocoa powder to taste right, it needs to be cooked, but fortunately the sugar is hot enough to do this when we work in it. The problem is it can be very, very messy, and the cocoa powder doesn't want to stick to the sugar at all. The stickiness of sugar shows that it's a hydrophile. It likes to combine with water much more so than oils, and cocoa powder is intrinsically oily at a certain level. So what we're doing is we're trying to make something not quite entirely unlike an emulsion. We need to get all the particles of cocoa individually wrapped in hard candy. And for that, we have to knead it considerably to spread out the cocoa powder throughout the hard candy so that each bit of it is wrapped and it will stay in suspension. We're going to do a lot to make this happen. We also have to do this before we put it on the pulling machine or these little pockets of cocoa will tear and cocoa will go everywhere in our shop. And I assure you, cleaning up cocoa that's been aerated by a machine throughout our candy area is not the most pleasant task for an apprentice to undertake. Last year we gave out black candy canes I made for a goth musician friend of mine, Rogue from the Crew Shadows. This year, we're giving out these candies in small sample bags with an order. All you have to do is place a $10 order, and yes, I'm being cruel, I'm hiding the coupon code at the end of this video. This coupon code will be good from when this video is posted until the Sunday after Thanksgiving, or until our quantities run out. If you're interested in these black candy canes of last year, they're up again at Lofty Pursuits for sale. Just go to www.pd.net and you can order them and a whole variety of other flavors of candy canes. We're also going to be expanding the selection as the season goes on.
We've minimized the pockets of cocoa, but we really want to aerate this. We want to maximize the surface area of the cocoa to your tongue so that the chocolate flavor will burst out. If I make this right, when you put it in your mouth, you will get a strong chocolate flavor that will fade into a soft cherry. Would you like to hear more history and rambles by me, Greg? Just listen to the Lofty Pursuits podcast. It comes out most Tuesdays. It can be downloaded wherever podcasts are found, but if you want to get it four weeks early, you can join our Patreon. Our Patreon subscribers are making this podcast happen and allowing us to do some cool things with our videos. So if you've been enjoying this and want to support our channel, please become a Patreon subscriber. You can also get other candies and use this coupon code on our website, www.pd.net. We ship to most countries around the world, as well as the United States, of course. In most drop candies, we just put a solid color through the machine. In this case, we want stripes. We want black cherry stripes for Black Friday. If you notice, we didn't put any of the cocoa powder in the black stripes, and this is going to emphasize the cherry flavor in your mouth. But because it hasn't been pulled, it will dissolve slower in your mouth than the cocoa. We're going to use one of our drop machines, and I'm going to build 16 lines here. And I'm going to do this by making lines of dark, the black, and lines of the lighter brown, and just pull them and multiply them. And we're going to do this again and again, and Nate and I are going to have a candy tug of war to produce the stripes for the roll. You may notice the candy is sagging more than it usually does. That's because it still has to pass through the drop roller. We need it much hotter than when we make image candy. People ask often why we can't put the unicorn droppings to the drop roller, and the answer is they're too cool. The whole object of the image candy is to cool down the candy so that it holds its design. In this case, the stripes are on the outside, so there's nothing to protect on the inside. It's sort of like a hot candy cane in its construction. To get a marble effect, we intentionally did not make all the stripes even and we weren't worried about them being twisted. Heck, we twisted them even more before they went through the machine. This machine was made in the 1870s and has a classic chip drop roller on it. We have to be careful about pressing this candy because the very nature of the cocoa powder is making weak lines in the candy, sort of connect the dots with both the air bubbles and the bits that don't want to hold on, which is the cocoa powder. If you've enjoyed this video, we have lots more on YouTube. Please join us and subscribe to our channel and ring the little alerts bell. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course you can become a Patreon subscriber. And let me thank my Patreon subscribers. They make this possible and other cool videos. Also, if you're ever in Tallahassee, please visit us. We make candy a lot of times, not all the times. We're open from 7 a.m. to 2 for brunch, and we continue going open from noon to 10 p.m. when we serve our ice cream. We're open seven days a week, most days of the year. And if you're lucky, you can catch us making candy. But of course, you can still order it online. This candy is our Black Friday special, and if you place an order of $10 or more from Lofty Pursuits and use coupon code black 19 from the time this video goes up until the Sunday after Thanksgiving. While supplies last, you will get a little bag of this candy, a sample bag, for you to taste for yourself. These candies are normally called drops because they're hard enough that we have to pick them up and drop them to break them into their individual pieces. But because of the cocoa powder, this stuff doesn't want to stay together, so it breaks with a bare touch and I love the way the individual pieces look. 
Thank you for watching. We're probably going to skip a week here with their videos because Greg's going off to Paris. With any luck, he'll come back with some really cool candy making footage for another video. Thank you again for watching.